it is or is not a valid expenditure of taxpayers' funds. That's not my, it's not my uh, call. And if Congress gives us the funds, uh, evidently they, uh, they believe it's worthwhile. I'm told to do this, and we are doing it. Those people who are in government, they tell me a lot of times that they're just following orders. My response is so was Heinrich Himmler. He was just following orders. We're about to embark on another arms race. It's totally unnecessary. We're committing billions of dollars to this technology. And the question becomes is, where does it end? I mean, we spent, they figured, uh, $3 trillion on the entire nuclear adventure. And that's, you know, 60% of the current national debt. Are we going to start that cycle again? Is it necessary to do that again? There's, there's just no sense to make more of HARP than there already is. It, it's intended to be for research. And that's all. So even though HARP is small today, it really, every major weapons program was small in its infancy. It's just we usually don't find out about them till 50 years later. In this case, we're finding out at the beginning phase. And this is a time for people to take and pay attention and look at this technology and determine, is this really a direction we want to go? And is it really necessary right now? HARP is not a threat. It's a benefit. We also know that there are other very specific frequencies which are different from the war games frequencies, which can enhance healing, which can accelerate natural healing in our bodies, which can alleviate our mood disorders, which can help us get over depression, anxiety, and sleeplessness. The military has very different plans and asks different questions looking at the same system than the scientist who's interested in medical issues or healing the planet. It may not be that the Earth will die, but we will not be able to sustain human life on this planet if we continue to add one element of destabilizing technology after another. If we do not stand up for what we believe in, for the children, we're not doing our job. Perhaps true wisdom lies in knowing our limitations and that even the laws of nature are uncertain. In view of these technologies, we're left to wonder, do these experiments jeopardize our long-term survival?